Hi guys, so I am at the gym. Our gym recently opened up, so um, I'm definitely taking advantage of it because it has been a struggle trying to stay active um, in this time. So I'm looking forward to going on the treadmill for a bit, doing some weights. Um, but this is gonna be a vlog for me reading The Testament by John Grisham. I will see you guys when I get home. I'm gonna hopefully read for most of the day to get a good chunk of The Testament done. So I'll see you then. I have been loving this song by Jonathan Trailer. He kind of just came out of nowhere for me, but I really like his music, so I would recommend checking it out. Hi guys, so I have read some chapters of the Testament and I love it. It's really funny, just the whole situation. Like, so just in case you don't know, um, so far the Testament is about this billionaire man who is, it opens with him thinking about his will. Um, he has had three different wives, he has seven kids, and he has a bad relationship with all of them. They all kind of sound like terrible people, and he, doesn't really want to will anything to them. And so, yeah, that's basically chapter one. And then chapter two is him in a meeting with all of their lawyers and psychiatrists to prove that he is like, sane enough to write his will and will things to them. Um, he definitely lies. Like he says, oh yeah, I'm going to will you guys stuff. Like, don't you worry. And then... <laughs> As soon as the meeting's over, as soon as they all leave, he whips out a different will and is like, hey lawyers, um, this is my actual will. I'm signing it right now. This is the one you follow. And that is that. So then you see the lawyer reading the will out loud um, to himself and and just the, the way that it was written, cause like the, the older man wrote it. It's just funny to see him say, you guys aren't getting anything. It's all going to this one lady. And that is it. Goodbye. <laughs> it just, it, it's pretty funny, I gotta say. So yeah, I'm on chapter four. I'm so curious about this girl. Her name, her name is Rachel Lane. I won't like tell you, cause I actually, you already know the relationship that she has with the man that's dying. His name is Troy, but no one's heard of her. And he basically tells his lawyers to find her. She gets his whole inheritance. So. It's, I'm really excited to see where this goes. So. Hey guys, so I am on page 80 of the Testament and this book is so funny because his family kind of sucks and so they're all like expecting the, this great amount of money each. And so they're like spending money prematurely before they get the money because they're like, well, I'm gonna be a millionaire, so it's fine. And so they're just spending their money in really funny ways but little do they know they're not getting anything so it's really funny um and yeah so then the lawyers are sending another lawyer to go find this woman and i'm looking forward to it i think this is going to be a really good book oh it's been good i definitely recommend it so far um there's no bad language yet hopefully there won't be any and it's completely clean so far too so Okay, I tried to find um, a place on the grass where there's not a lot of people and the sun is behind me so the lighting's pretty bad, but it's really nice out and I'm going to read the testament. So yeah, unfortunately I picked a spot with a bit of moss that is still wet. So it's warm enough that even though I'm gonna get a little wet, <laughs> I'm gonna stick it out because I am embarrassed to move again. Um, don't know if you can hear the wind, but it is winding a bit. And there's like not a lot of people around, so that's good. But I'm also like in the middle of a field. So it feels kind of weird to be doing this, but. Uh, you know what? I'm trying to expand my horizons. This video is really pushing my creative boundaries right now because I filmed myself making food. I filmed myself reading. And now I'm laying outside and there's people. 
I mean, there's not. Like, I don't think anyone can hear me right now, but if they could, I would be a little bit afraid. So, okay, but yeah, um, I really want to get a good chunk of this done. I'm on page 102, and so I want to read a lot of this. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, I've been really into reading um, The Negotiator by Dee Henderson, and I have that as an ebook, and I just... I read ebooks so much faster and they're just like easy because I always have my phone with me so I just like read a page or two and so I've been reading that over reading the testament and I mean it's fine but I want to finish the testament before the end of May so I need to do that so yeah Okay, I don't even know if I can use these clips because either the lighting's gonna be really bad or you can't hear me, I don't know. Um, but I just read a chapter of the Testament and I am getting pretty wet <laughs> down here, so I think I'm gonna move, which is unfortunate. But um, I really do like this book though. I think if it was the only thing I was reading on the go right now, I'd read it more often, but The Negotiator became available and I had to take it because it's only a seven day loan. So I think I have three days left on it, um, so I have to finish that, but I'm also 50% done it, so not bad. Um, man, that sky looks really nice in here. Yeah, so I will check back in when I find a drier spot. I just picked the really mossy spot, spot I guess. Stinking wet. I only have one towel. Do I call it a day? <laughs> Read one chapter. There's a lot more people around. I mean, not that many, but enough that I'm not gonna talk, you know? Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna go outside and read the Testament. It has been a couple days since I was outside last. It's a beautiful day, I just finished work, and that's something I wanna talk about actually. Work has been pretty hard lately, so reading has been pretty hard lately. I'm not even close to being finished this, like I'm not even halfway, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish it before the end of May, but we're gonna try. So um, I will see you when I get outside and find my spot. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go today, Hopefully not too many people are out, but it is a Friday, so I'm sure lots of people will be. So, but I just wanted to break up this vlog a little bit, say hello, check in, and hopefully I can find a good spot. Okay, I found a spot, and there's not a lot of people around me, but there are people in the vicinity, so I am just laying low, but I'm actually facing the sun this time, so you can see me. I can't really see you, though. Okay, so I'm reading this book. On chapter 20, page 188. I'm filming the week of May 25th to 29th, and it's the 29th today. Schools are opening back up again June 1st, and so I am a teacher, and I've had to prepare for that, and it's been a lot of work. Um, there's so many unanswered questions. It feels very just, no one knows what they're doing. So this week has just been a lot, and so, when I did have a spare time to read, I would just read on my phone and that was it because I'm just like working a lot. But I've basically done all I can do and so I have the weekend to try to finish this book. But reading it in two and a half days? I mean, I could do it if all I did was read it, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, you know. Um, I brought my Bible too just to do some praying and reading in case I feel like it, so. So far the lawyer is still trying to find Rachel Lane and the family was just informed of what the will has in it and that they are getting nothing so there's a lot of moving parts in this book a lot of characters that are interesting and i want to know like how they handle everything so it definitely is written in a very compelling way i'm also on a hill kind of so like my body is like kind of this way not flat so i feel like i'm gonna like fall over <laughs> um it's kind of funny but and 
I did still choose the mossy part because like moss is soft, you know? But it's hot enough that the water dried and I'm not getting wet, so I think we'll be okay. I don't think that'll be the reason I have to leave unless I get surrounded by people, but. I did a person check and I think we're good. Um, I got a good chunk done. Um, I read about 100 pages, so I'm on page 270 now. And I love it. He, so the lawyer found Rachel and I really like her already. She's like a legit Christian missionary, so that's really cool. Like, I don't know this author's faith or like, I don't know what he's gonna, how he's gonna write Christianity as it goes on but for now like I really like how he's writing Rachel I'm just really excited to see what happens to her and how she decides to handle the news that she's getting um, he hasn't officially told her yet he just like found her and they're talking and that is it so and I really like the lawyer in this book too he struggles with alcohol addiction and I'm really like sympathizing with him it's been really nice out here I read um, Maybe I'll talk about this too. I brought my message Bible with me and I was reading Proverbs because that's what I'm reading right now. But I also turned to Ephesians because Ephesians and the message is just so beautifully written and it, it just writes the gospel in such a beautiful way that I really am encouraged by. And so I just spent some time reading that and just being amazed at how good God is and how much he loves us. It's so easy to forget. I'm reminded again that he's with me and he loves me and that I'm gonna be okay no matter what happens with my job, my life, anything. He's gonna be with me through it. So I would encourage you to look up um, Ephesians in the message translation because it's just beautiful. Like Ephesians chapter one, just read the whole thing. It's really, really encouraging. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this so far. I will update when I get home. Okay, so I got to page 453 the other night, and so I only have a little bit left. I love this book, you guys. Um, it made me cry, which I did not expect. I definitely was at the right emotional space to cry if I was going to, but yeah, it, it has such a beautiful, what would you call it, like conversion story, or like one of the characters like meets Jesus, and it's beautiful. The way it was written was amazing. It's like John Grisham knows what it's like to be forgiven. So like, I am so curious about this author now. Do you guys know, like, is he a Christian that just writes books and then sometimes slips in faith in there? Or is it just a coincidence? Do his other books have characters of faith sometimes? I'm so curious, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish this today. Unfortunately, it is June 1st that I'm filming this and so, um, we went back to school today and it was actually not too bad Barely any kids came so it wasn't as like scary as I thought it was gonna be like but leading up to that I was so swamped with stuff to do um, I just didn't get to read this as much so I didn't finish it within May But I think if I finish it today because I'm gonna film my May wrap-up today, too um, if I finish this today, then I will just include it in my May wrap up because I really want to talk about it now Although I'm really happy that I have this video for it, too By the way, I've really enjoyed making this video It's been so fun to be able to go outside so much the weather has been amazing Which is the main reason why so I will check back in when I have finished the book um, I already know it's gonna be five stars though it's so interesting because like I don't, don't even care what happens to the money at this point now like I'm so attached to these characters that I just want to see them become better people and I would not consider this a faith book though like I think anyone could read it and enjoy it 
but if you are a Christian, you're gonna really love all of the faith that's included. It could be a total coincidence that one of the characters just happens to be a missionary and she's just a really good one though. So yeah, um, okay, this video is probably gonna be really long, but um, I just really enjoy talking about it. So I'm gonna finish okay, this Okay, so I just finished The Testament. Five out of five stars. This book was incredible. I got so much enjoyment from it. What an epic story and yet it, it it could be about something shallow, but I loved it. I am really happy with how it all ended and the wrap up, Every how everything turned out to be. I, I think it's perfect. I loved it. Highly recommend this. Um, it was completely clean. There were no swear words and I'm really impressed. Um, I'm definitely going to check out more John Grisham in the future. I'm so impressed. Even all of the legal stuff that was going on, none of it was boring. I understood all of it and I was really invested. So yeah, um, what a great book. So glad that I chose to read it and that is it. So those are my final thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I had a really, really good time with this. Such a good book. So there we go. That is, those are my final thoughts. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.